Hey, what's happening everybody on Reddit, YouTube, anyone else that's watching? I hope you're having a fantastic day. And if you're not, remember the feeling will pass and today will end. So there's your good news. Uh, so I have made lots of videos um, specifically about all different types of aquatic plants because I do aquascapes. Although this one's seen the most, that's because I do all of my work down here. And um, it, it's a storage room in the basement. Anyway, yes, I'm down here in the dark doing all this stuff. But I do have six tanks total and one is a terrarium. Uh, anyway, I wanted to make a really fast video that talks about the fundamentals of plants. Most of us were taught these in uh, grade school, but they were forgotten over the decades because it's just information we just never needed to convey or to say to someone else or needed it for any other reason. And uh, so a few of these things that we're going to talk about is when do plants uh, feed? When do they make oxygen? When do they consume oxygen? When do they grow? How much light do they need? All of these things are huge factors in the success of your tank that you need to think about first before we, you start diving into fertilizers and all of these things. So number one, plants do not grow during the day. They don't. What do they do during the day? Well, during the day, they are photosynthesizing sunlight or whatever artificial light you're providing them and consuming it into their, uh, you know, into their limbs and leaves and structure and roots and all of that. Uh, but it's not being converted into growth yet. So think about a plant under sunlight, kind of the way you would think of Goku uh, charging up for a Kamihami wave. Just, you know, eight episodes of him just going, ah, ah. And then eight weeks later, you finally see him blow off a Kamehameha wave and blow everyone to pieces. So, if you're an anime fan, you know what I'm talking about because that's what plants are doing during the day. So, they're sitting there just going, Ah, give me the sunlight! Ah! Absorbing as much as they can. And then the sun goes down. And they convert all of that energy into growth. And they do this in the dark. Um... So, while they are doing that, they are also consuming oxygen. While they're growing in the dark, they are then consuming oxygen. Only during the day will they release oxygen. So, uh, you know, <coughs> it's kind of almost like a contradiction going on because you have some things happening during the night, some things happening during the day. So, like what I will do, since I know that um, they consume oxygen at night. I have a really long bubbler. You can kind of... I'll pull on the cord here. Man, you know, to be honest with you, this is all weird trying to like do the my telephone camera and point out the stuff in here. Anyway, uh, what I have is I have a really huge long bubbler that's got a really high-powered um, uh, device that pumps air into it. And I only turn it on at night. Some people leave their bubblers going all the time. But the thing is, is that plants like consistency because nature has uh, typical consistencies when it comes to night and day. You know, so I only give them the extra oxygen in the evening. During the day, my HOB does just fine oxygenating the water for the fish and the plants are producing oxygen. And by turning on the bubbler at night, I, I am triggering them to consume as much oxygen as they want so they're not stealing from the fish. You know, because they, they all need oxygen. Uh, so with that said, because we know that during the day plants photosynthesize and consume the energy holding it and waiting to convert it into growth that means they also are consuming all of the regular nutrients that they would find like nitrogen uh, potassium anything that's in the water wherever they're at in the wild there's always going to be more of something else in there than uh, there is of 
you know, of a plant somewhere else. Some places have more iron, some places have more magnesium, some have more calcium. It just depends. Um, anyway, so during the day while they are absorbing sunlight, they're also absorbing their nutrients. And then at night, it's an explosion. And if you pay really close attention and stare at your plants for hours a day like I do, I can actually see them grow a centimeter in about a 36-hour time span. I've watched it happen. It's pretty interesting. Uh, so anyway, these are the fundamentals. These are things that you need to understand first. And uh, also, know that it is not always bright and sunny outside in the wild every day. So it is okay to have days where you have the light a little bit dimmer or days where you want the light a little bit brighter. Or maybe you just skip a day. Hey, let's pretend that day was a very rainy, dark day and the sun never came out. So you just don't turn the lights on one day. And that's perfectly okay. It's not going to bother the fish. It's not going to bother the plants. It's not going to bother any of this because this, this is how it goes. You know, they don't get to decide when there's light and when there isn't or how much of it they get, you know. So, yeah, there are times I'll have it dimmed down and days I'll make it brighter. You know, it just depends. So, keep all of these little fundamentals in mind that are very basic um, when you're diving into this hobby. And that will help you with the first step. Understand when they grow understand when they consume, consume nutrients, understand when they photosynthesize, and understand when they produce oxygen and when they take it. Know these things, and you should, because I just told you, otherwise you've just been staring at my mug for the past five minutes, and I'm not the most attractive guy out there. Um, anyway, so I don't want to leave on a note with you just looking at my face, so... Here's the tank, and I've got all kinds of plants in here. There, You'll see a lot of hobbyists that are like, you can only have three different kinds of plants. That is not true. You can have many plants from all different, uh, from all different places, from all around the world, that all need different parameters, uh, because none of them need a, a precise percentage of a parameter, uh, you know, considering pH and GH and KH and you know, and, and nitrates and all of that. So what you do is, like in here, I've uh, got, I think, 15 species of plants. And, you know, they're all different, but they have a wide range. So I find a spot where everyone can meet in the middle. And then eventually, through consistency, one plant might be like, well, you know, this is a little harder than I'd like, but I can live with this. And then another plant might be like, well, this water's a little softer than I'd like but I can adjust to this. Consistency is key. You know, turn your light on at the same day, same time every day. You know, it, you know, you're, you're rising the sun and setting it, you know, and, and unless you decide you want to do what I do and mimic a dark day where there is no light and that's okay. They can take a break. They don't need to be sitting there always consuming energy and then immediately always growing. It's okay to have stagnant days where nothing happens because that's how it works in nature. Sometimes a few days will go and they don't get any nutrients or sun and they don't grow at all. So they don't always need to be pushing it to the limits. So that's one big mistake that I've, I've noticed through uh, friends and watching people online is that they try too hard in, in the beginning. They try to give their plants too much and push them to the limits before they're even ready to go to those extremes. So anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you didn't, I... I I don't know what to tell you. I guess you wasted eight minutes of your life. Anyway, I uh, hope you have a fantastic day, and we'll see you next time.